Embrace the Strange, page 2. Today's illusion is silver weeds. The concept for the body formed in my imagination at some point between soul bearing and vulnerability eats me. I was drawn to the show of dexterity and the flow of it. I imagine it to resemble a fairy plant since I read A Rake of His Own. Spoiler alert, there was a dryad dealing illegal plants on the black market to humans and a murderous fae succulent. It wasn't innately murderous, but it was a supposed bystander and splattered with blood and infused with rage under the light of a full moon. Anyway, the figure is poised in an overextended bridge, supporting on its three legs and three arms. Rather than a head, there are tentacle-like petals surveying the scene, one swaying gently while the other is whipping offensively. In the hollow of the body, a red orb is held, alternatively a red eye vision, a reservoir of passion. Two of the three legs are on the same path, while the third deviates, reluctant to meld with the rest of the body. I have no complaints about this painting. Everything went very smoothly. This piece is, to me, more about synchronicity and remembering more than anything else. That's what the title is meant to indicate as well. Marina has a song called Weeds, and that came to mind while I was painting this, although I wasn't actually listening to it. I was listening to my Dorian Gray playlist because I'm reading that book, and having a playlist and or soundtrack for it makes it a bit easier to get through. Oscar Wilde is a week of theater Libra in the secret language of birthdays realm, born the day before me, the 16th of October, so I was curious to find out if we share any sort of characteristics. It's sort of a part of my desire to crack personality tests and quizzes. I succeeded with the Enneagram because up until recently I was a four with a five wing, and for the first time I got a one, and it couldn't figure out what my wing would have been. I already broke the Myers-Briggs because I've, I've always gotten introvert, but it deviates sometimes between thinking and feeling, and also whether or not uh, judging, too. So, back to the weeds. The weeds, to me, aren't a man as they were to Marina. It is my nature that I, I think is the weed. I think I can only know myself, like the character Basil in the picture of Dorian Gray, through things. I am exposed. My everything is sort of in my work. Revisiting the Dermot Kennedy verse that I said that I liked, there's a person who you must be. My personality and my ambition feels like a weed. But having read Egon Schiele's book, which I could ramble about him, but I won't, he said that the new artist is and must be at all costs himself. He must be a creator. He must build the foundation himself without reference to the past tradition. Then he is a new artist. All the he's aside, that to me, really echoed um, Friedrich, Friedrich Nuch, um, man must create himself. Um, and I've already spoke about how there was a bridge expressionist group founded on the ideas of his ideology, man is a bridge, non-end. And the gist of that is that it just made me feel better about myself. This piece also gives me a Mowgli's Road vibe as well. More in the title, the silver to me is like the mortal thread of life. Think Hercules, the scissors won't cut, and the synchronicity of experiences, the repetition of certain messages, better or worse, they've become fundamentals of me, so I should champion them. Should. Will I? I can't say. We're working ideas that were at the beginning of my current sketchbook. I have so many ideas that are poorly rendered, yet more ambitious than the ones I followed through with and align a lot with my newer pieces. It's peculiar, perturbing. I squint. Do you squint? Um, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.